Okay, so verbs in French. So I'm going to teach you a little bit of English first before I teach the French. I have an English major or minor background, so it's always helpful to make sure that we understand these things in English before I try to teach them to you in a new language. So with verbs, we're going to ask ourselves the question, what is a verb? So a verb in English is an action, right? Like you are able to do something, like you can speak, you can talk to somebody, but you can't, like if I could say, I wanna talk to Madame about French class, you couldn't say, I wanna French something, right? You can't, that's not a verb. So anything that can be done, it, something can have that action, that's the verb. In English, verbs sometimes have different endings for each subject. Like if you think about the verb to have, we have I have, you have, he, she, one, has. So it's different. It's kind of the same in French. There are some different conjugations, so some different conjugations, and then there's some that are the same. It's the same thing for French. So I'm also going to ask the question, what's an infinitive? So what's an infinitive? An infinitive is, think like an infant, because this kind of looks like infant if you cover some of the letters and squint really hard. So an infinitive is something that's not changed. It stays in the original form. So it's something that's not changed. Original form. Okay, so we know that an infinitive is something that's not changed, it's in the original form. So something that's conjugated, that's a J, conjugated means that it's changed. So something that's conjugated is changed from that infinitive. In English, infinitives, Start with to something, like to work or things like that. If I give you the sentence, I like to work, like is changed. It's conjugated. It's not to like. You don't say I to like to work. So it's I like, and then that to work, that's your infinitive. All right, so let's talk a little bit about verbs in French. So verbs in French, there are three main types. So there's three main types. And there are some that are, ir that are irregular, that they don't follow a pattern. So verbs in these three main types, they usually follow a pattern. And we'll talk more about what those three main types are later on. But I just want you to recognize that there's three main types for right now. Also in French, there are usually different conjugations for each subject. So there, there's a different form for I, there's a different form for you, different form for we, et cetera, et cetera. All 
right? So usually different forms or conjugations for each subject. All right, so we've got avoir written up at the top here. We know that avoir means in English to have, and then I wrote out a little pronunciation on how to say it, ah, and then voir that way. So we're going to start on the left-hand side of our chart here with just je, tu, and then il, el, on. So in French, I told you that there are different conjugations for usually each subject. So we're just going to dive feet first into it. And the first one for je is a, a, i. I'm also going to translate my subject pronouns on here just in case you need a little bit of a refresher or something like that. All right, and so now I have my subject and I have my form of the verb, my conjugation. And so we're learning the verb avoir, which means to have. So what do you think je plus a means? What do you think that means? So it means I have. And then you pronounce this like Hey, like you see somebody in the hallway and it's your friend. You're like, hey, buddy, what's up? When we have two vowels next to each other, right? Because these usually get written on the same line. But since we have a vowel here and a vowel here, we need to get rid of one of these vowels. We're not going to get rid of the one in the verb. We're just going to get rid of the one in the subject. So we're going to cross that off. And instead of it being je, you just put an apostrophe, and so it becomes J, like Z-J-A-Y, J. So you guys saw that yesterday in some of the activities that we did with the indefinite articles. All right, for two, we're going to write down ah, ah. So again, like you're going to the doctor and they say, stick your tongue out and say, ah. And so to, ah, uh, so to, ah uh, means you have. All right. Next one on this side is E-L-L and O. And so we have E-L-L on ah, uh, just an A. Just ah. All right, so il, el, on, ah, has. So il, el, on, ah. And then has. For new and vu, new and vu are usually the easiest ones to conjugate, to change. So new, we're going to take pretty much most of our stem up here, most of our verb. And so we're going to take off this IR, that ending, and we're going to write down A-V-O. So write down A-V-O. For new, in almost every single verb, it's going to add ONS. So we already have our O, so we're just going to add NS. And so new is we, and avant, it's like ah, and then vont. So new and then avant, what does that mean? So it means we have. And then real quick lesson, just like how we took the E and got rid of it for je, we're not going to get rid of any letters, but we're going to kind of add something. 
So with new, when there is a vowel in the verb, or you, when you have a consonant like S and a vowel, when you link them together, it makes this Z sound. So instead of saying new a vol, you say new za vol. So it makes this Z sound. The French don't like to be choppy. They like things to be very flowy and like swirly. So when you say new avant, it's very choppy. You have to like break it up. You have to try to break it up. But when you say new avant and you make that link and you make that Z sound, it makes things go a little bit faster and they can essentially talk faster. All right. So for vu, we're going to write down a ve. And then vu is so easy. Vu is so easy because vu will almost always end in easy for every verb. Almost every verb will end for vu in easy. Makes it a little bit easy. And so vu is you, that formal one, or y'all, if you're talking more than one. And so vu, when we make this link, becomes vu zave. Last one. So for il and l, three letters, trois lettres, on. So il and l means they, if you didn't remember. One's just specific for boys and girls and boys, and another one is just specific for girls. So il and l won't. Remember how I, you have to make that link. Anytime there's an S and a vowel, you're going to make that link, and it's going to make a what sound? A Z sound. And so il's won't, l's won't means they have. 